In the heart of West Africa lies the Côte d'Ivoire, or Ivory Coast, a nation synonymous with the world's craving for chocolate, revered as one of the globe's leading exporters of cocoa. Hello, welcome to Open Tierra, where today we're diving into the vibrant culture of Africa's Ivory Coast. Stick around till the end to uncover a fascinating aspect of Ivory Coast that might just surprise you. With its borders on the Gulf of Guinea, Côte d'Ivoire has a diverse geography including coastlines, forests and savannas. This tropical West African country spans 322,463 square kilometers. The 515 kilometer coastline features beaches, lagoons and palm groves. The commercial capital Abidjan and major port cities like San Pedro lie along the coast. This area has a more wet equatorial climate. Dense rainforests cover the southwestern quarter of Côte d'Ivoire. Evergreen forests provide timber resources. The forests see high rainfall and are home to wildlife like chimpanzees, leopards and elephants. The northern savannas consist of grasslands and woodlands. The savanna climate brings less rainfall than the south and has only one rainy season per year. The savannas support agriculture and cattle grazing. Major rivers include the Cavalli River, bordering Liberia, and the Sassandra River. The Bandama and Comoe rivers flow through the central part of Côte d'Ivoire. Dams along these rivers provide hydroelectric power. Côte d'Ivoire, located on the coast of West Africa, has a history stretching back centuries. Once home to several powerful indigenous kingdoms, Côte d'Ivoire was colonized by France in the late 19th century. After achieving independence in 1960, Côte d'Ivoire prospered as one of Africa's most stable and affluent nations for decades before experiencing significant political turmoil in the early 2000s. Today, Côte d'Ivoire is recovering and working to achieve economic progress and national reconciliation. Before French colonization, Côte d'Ivoire was home to several powerful pre-colonial kingdoms. The Kingdom of Kong existed from the early 18th to late 19th centuries in the North Central region. Kong conducted extensive regional trade and Islamic scholars contributed to the Kong intellectual tradition. The Baule Kingdom emerged in the central region in the 18th century, where it continued local religious and cultural practices. The Agni Kingdom, based in the southeast around the Komoe River, also retained regional power and resisted initial French advances. These kingdoms controlled local trade, agriculture and governance for centuries. France first established trading posts in the 1840s and began asserting formal control over the interior in the 1870s. Côte d'Ivoire was officially made a French colony in 1893. The French imposed taxes on the local population and forced many to work on French-owned banana, cocoa and coffee plantations. This created economic infrastructure but displaced local agricultural production. France also promoted Christianity over indigenous belief systems. Rebellions occurred but did not overturn French rule. Côte d'Ivoire gained independence from France on August 7, 1960, under the leadership of President Félix Oupfoué Boigny. He promoted cooperation with France and maintained close ties. Under Oupfoué Boigny's long presidency, Côte d'Ivoire became quite prosperous it relied on immigrant workers from other African countries to expand cocoa, coffee and pineapple production. The economy grew rapidly in the 1960s and 70s, earning a reputation as an African success story. The West African nation of Côte d'Ivoire is home to over 20 million people from diverse ethnic, religious and linguistic backgrounds. Despite tensions in recent decades, Côte d'Ivoire retains a rich cultural heritage. There are around 60 ethnic groups in Côte d'Ivoire. The Akan people, including the Baoli and Agni, 
make up the largest portion at about 42% of the population. The Voltex and Mande each comprise around 15 to 20%. Smaller groups include the Cruz, Southern Mandes, Kwa and Gur speakers. Côte d'Ivoire has a religiously diverse population. Islam is practiced by around 38% of people, mainly in the north. Christians make up around 34% of the populace. About 25% retain indigenous religious beliefs or no religion. French is Côte d'Ivoire's official language. However, more than 70 indigenous languages are also spoken. The Akan dialect Dioula is used widely in trade. Bete, Baule, Dan, Anyan and Senufo are among the other native languages. This linguistic diversity stems from the various ethnic groups. The economy of Côte d'Ivoire is one of the most prosperous in West Africa. The World Bank estimates its GDP at around $70 billion as of 2022. As the world's largest exporter of cocoa, its economy relies heavily on agriculture. It has experienced significant growth since the 2000s, but still faces challenges of poverty and inequality. Around 40% of Côte d'Ivoire's workforce engages in agricultural production. Cocoa accounts for up to 20% of export earnings. Côte d'Ivoire produces 35 to 40% of the world's cocoa supply. Coffee and palm oil are also exported. Bananas, pineapples and rubber are key industries as well. Agriculture employs many low-income Ivorians. Beyond agriculture, Industrial activity includes food production, mining, telecommunications, and financial services. Côte d'Ivoire is a major producer of hydroelectricity. Abidjan is the center of economic activity and development. Investments in infrastructure have supported growth in services. Despite economic progress, almost half of Ivorians live below the poverty line. Income inequality persists between urban and rural areas. Youth unemployment also poses an ongoing economic challenge. As Côte d'Ivoire continues growing, reducing poverty and expanding opportunity will be key goals. Ivorian music incorporates various traditional African instruments like the talking drum, djembe drum and balafon xylophone. Common musical styles include Zoblazo, Zuglu, and Coupe de Calais dance music, which blend folk percussion with electronic sounds. Major music artists from the Côte d'Ivoire include Alpha Blondie, Magic System, and Tikinja Fakoli, who combine reggae and African rhythms. Ivorian literature originated with oral storytelling traditions centered on folk tales and mythology. Well-known authors include Ahmadou Kuruma, whose novels Waiting for the Wild Beasts to Vote and Allah is Not Obliged Address, Colonialism and African Identity. Contemporary female writers such as Veronique Tadio and Tanella Boni explore social issues like marriage customs and women's rights. Ivorian visual arts encompass wood carving, pottery, masks, sculpture, and kente weaving among various ethnic groups. The ball are known for their figurative sculpture and masks depicting spiritual concepts. Painters include contemporary artists like James Robert Kokobi, who promotes avant-garde sculptures, and Claudie Titi Dimbeng, known for her themes in feminism. Photographers such as François-Xavier Gibray document daily life. From stews to vegetable side dishes to staple starches, the food of Côte d'Ivoire is an integral part of its culture. Garba features fish or meat cooked in a tomato broth with onions, garlic, peppers and herbs like basil. It often includes cassava leaves and okra for thickness. Slow cooked garba stew is full of robust and savory flavors. This stew combines peanut butter with tomatoes onions and chili peppers to create a thick, nutty sauce. Beef or chicken is stewed in the sauce along with potatoes and carrots for heartiness. The peanut butter adds unique flavor and creaminess. 
Plasali are savory handmade fritters, often made from grated root vegetables like cassava and taro. Onions, fish, spinach and herbs are mixed into the batter before deep frying. Plakali makes a flavorful and crunchy accompaniment to stews. Kedjanu is a popular chicken dish, slow cooked in a spiced tomato and palm nut sauce. Onions, garlic, thyme, peppers and bay leaves season the stew. Served over rice, Kedjanu chicken provides comforting and rich flavors. If you enjoyed this video on Côte d'Ivoire, you'll love this next one.